why doesn't this 1975 dime not have a mint mark over the date like it's supposed to? Well, we're going to talk about that in this video. So here's a 1975 No S proof Roosevelt dime. And it's no wonder why people are looking for this coin. There's two known. One's graded proof 66 and the other one's proof 68. And they are decam coins. The mintage for the entire run of 75S, at least for the normal S, is 2,845,450. So that is a, not a high mintage for a modern coin, but for a proof that doesn't get circulated, it is kind of high. They still exist a lot. Now these came in a proof set, and I can show you what that looks like. It comes in a black box like this, and they come in this uh, plastic sealed, and these are very difficult to remove. Most people don't remove these and mess with them, and this is what your decam looks like. And you can see where the mint mark's supposed to be, right over above the 1975. Now, this is a 76 set that I have, and it has a 76 dime. Now, they're the same as far as where the mint mark is, occurs and business strikes look the same. That's definitely a business strike. And then here is the Denver. And it's a 76, but obviously the 75 is the same, just a different date. They were released all in similar time frame here. That's what a business strike looks like. And you can tell the difference between a business strike, a shiny business strike, and a decam. And that is just way too important. So when it comes to this 1975 no S proof, people are confusing this all the time. They are finding business strike coins, coins interchange without a mint mark, like the one I showed you right here and thinking they have the 75 no S. Philadelphia Mint didn't put a mint mark on this, so it's a Philadelphia Mint release. Okay, that's what this is. They didn't put a P on these, uh, so therefore, they're no mint mark. They're not actually a no S, they're just a no mint mark, no P mint mark, basically. So when you're looking through your proof sets, at your 75 S proof sets, then this is what you're looking for. If you're looking through your change, then you're going to have to look for something else. But also, there's another thing to look for in the proof sets. You can find an S over S, a repunch mint mark for the 75S proof. So do look for that. Right here's the S. So you can find you an S and try to find the S over S. Is it worth much? Yeah, if you get it in 69, it's worth 800 bucks. If you get it in a 68, worth 350. So let's say you have mint sets like I showed you, and you're looking for the 75. This is what it has to grade. Now, I want to show you this, too. This doesn't have a mint mark listed. This does. See, you got the no mint mark Philadelphia, and you have the mint mark with the D, Denver. But if you do have these sets and you have a really high-grade coin, it's possible with uh, Smith State 67, you could get a you know, $200 coin. Now, with full the full band lines on the reverse, now, by the way, proofs already have that. They don't get that designation. They are considered FB already. This is what it's worth right here. So it's hard to get that. Now, the 75D is not worth as much, but, you know, in the 67 grades, it's got a little bit of a value to it. But that's your uh, business strikes. That's what they're called. They're uncirculated coins. They're basically circulated coins. They're, they're made for circulation. They call them business strikes. And that's what they look like right here. So this is not what you want if you're looking for the No S 75. You want this one right here. This is what it's supposed to look like. That decam, yeah. So hopefully that explained it to everyone, a little more detail about it. You want to look in the proof sets for the no S, and anything you find in your change, it's a 75 without a mint mark, is, is normal, unless it's a proof that someone removed. But remember, only two of these are known, and they were all found in the proof sets. So the odds of one getting out of a proof set, which is very difficult to do anyways, if you've ever removed these from proof sets, I have. Very hard to get these coins out. So it's not likely someone just cracking them up and throwing them in circulation, especially one that wouldn't have an S mint mark because that would uh, make anybody take a double look, you know. So if the odds are just, I mean, we're talking about winning the lottery probably two or three times in a row. That's the odds of finding this in your change, okay? So it's best to look for the proof sets and look for that RPM that I showed you here, that repunch mint mark. So thanks for watching my latest video. Please like, share, and comment, and have a great day.